Facebook, what's going on? She got Professor Smell Good. Coming to you guys live here at my shop, 7 the Chain in Lafayette, inside of the Family Fair Marketplace. All right, what we're gonna be talking about today is how to smell the samples, okay? How to smell the samples. Sample bottles here. A lot of my customers, they request me to send out samples so they can actually start buying oils wholesale and actually start their business full-time, some part-time, some people that got a job and they just sell the oils on the side. As I mentioned in my previous lessons, they have people that they work with and they actually make an order. I want this, 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 and that. And so by the time Friday comes, when they get the check, they get paid twice. They get paid twice. They get paid with their check and they get paid from the oils, from the orders that people actually get. So how do you smell the samples? Very good question. Okay, some people they do like this. That's the, if you really want to smell the, the true potency of the oil, the actual smell, doing this right here, that method is not going to give any justice, okay? Um, some people, they do like this. All right, they take it and they swipe it on their wrist, all right? Some people do that. Okay, now if you want to use that method, that's good for seeing how the fragrance smells on you, okay? Because fragrance smells different on everybody, okay? So if you want to see how the fragrance smells on you, then yes, you do that method. But if you just want to see how they smell, you don't take every single sample of a fragrance that you get and swipe it on your arm, swipe it on your arm to see how it smells. In that case, what's going to happen, you're not going to get the true essence of the smell. So this is what you do. Very simple. How's it going now? You see this here? You take the cap and you take the little applicator off. And you, how you doing? And you, and you smell the applicator. Or you can do this. There's two things you can do. You can smell the applicator or after you take the top, the applicator out, you can smell the top of the bottle. And I'm going to tell you the reason why. How y'all doing? Free samples of the oil. Free samples. And I'm going to tell you the reason why. Because if you just smell it like this, then sometimes oils can be, like a lot of times when I come and I set my oils up, I have a lot of my oils in one big bag. So you may think that you're smelling the actual scent, but you're smelling another fragrance that actually rubbed off on the top of another fragrance when you do like this, all right? But if you take the top off, right? This way, this top, this top here has not been, no fragrance has rubbed on this top because this top was actually enclosed, you see? So once you take that off, then you can smell you can smell the potency of it this way or this way. One or two. Alright? So I just want to make sure that I clarify that because um, some customers that buy wholesale for me, uh, they request samples and they put every single sample on and they say, you know what? They all smell the same. Well they all smell the same because you all rub you all you take it in one fragrance. The first fragrance that you actually sample and you rub in. Every fragrance, especially if it's a strong one, every fragrance after that will appear to smell just like that first fragrance because you rubbed it in the same spot. That's an incorrect method, okay? The best way to do it, as I explained, smell the top of it, the applicator, take the applicator out, smell the top of the bottle or the top of the, uh, the uh, sample bottle, and, and, and that's the way you do it. It's just simple as that. So it's your guy, Professor Smell Good, coming to you guys live here in my shop, selling the Shane Slop yet, telling you guys how to smell samples. Thank you.